our group is working on leukaemia research. So these are blood cancers. So we do not just leukaemia, but lymphomas and myeloma. And our goal is really quite simple, is to find new therapies for cancers which currently don't have sufficiently good response rates. And we use a slightly different approach, which is we try to see whether there are drugs in our pharmacies which might be effective against blood cancers. And the process of using drugs in a new setting is called drug redeployment. And the drive of our research is really to find drugs that we think are effective, hopefully which have minimal toxicities, but are eff effective against treating the blood cancers, but don't harm the normal cells, because that's important. And the idea is that by doing that, hopefully we can treat patients who are currently ineligible for intensive chemotherapy, or come from backgrounds where we can't afford intensive chemotherapy. But Whilst we do that, we also try to understand how the drugs work because that's an important part of the research that we do. By understanding how the drugs are working against the tumour cells, what we can then try to do is be very clever about some of the combinations that we put together and maybe identify more effective anti-cancer therapies that way. Cancer is, a, it's, you could almost argue, a very clever beast. It changes and during therapy, um, some patients will relapse with, um, after having had their treatment, first round of treatment, they will relapse, or their disease is refractory or resistant to the treatment to begin with. So what we're dealing with is really trying to find therapies which are able to target those difficult to treat cancers. But the biggest difficulty that I would say we have is that we're dealing with patients who are quite old, elderly, fragile for many of the diseases that we work with. So trying to find drugs which aren't going to make them sick in the first place whilst also treating their cancers. So we've done a clinical trial here in the UK, one in Africa, and the results look very promising. And we are currently in the next stages of clinical trials, which is to take them to great, treating greater numbers of patients, but also trying to find the optimal dose of the drugs to use. For us to be able to take our concepts from the lab right through to the clinic, and then to deliver them on a much greater scale, we need input from business people, we need input from pharmaceutical companies, and we need input from uh, legislators who understand sort of the IP landscape regarding the reuse of drugs in new settings. And hopefully by having an opportunity to talk to lots of people like that, we can maybe create a forum by which we all have an idea of where we're trying to go and then everybody can use their own expertise, hopefully, to get us there faster. Because as a scientist, I don't necessarily understand the business side particularly well, and I probably don't understand the legislation as well as I could do. So rather than trying to do everything ourselves, by far the best way is to bring together a team of people who have their own expertise and work very well together.